How you doing? I'm Kevin O'Hara for alcoholmastery.com. Today, I want to talk about the right time to change. Um, there is never a right time to change. You know, it's just ludicrous to expect that there's a perfect time to make changes in your life. Um, if you're looking for a perfect time, then the only perfect time is now, at this moment. You know, pain shows up in your life for uh, a variety of reasons. Pain shows up in life for one reason and one reason only, to tell you that there's something wrong, right? You know, that pain could be physical pain, it could be mental pain, uh, something that is happening in your environment, with your relationships, with whatever, but you feeling pain is a sign that something is not right with your life, right? Something needs to change. Um, now, you have to find the common denominator. You have to find the root cause of the pain. And once you find the root cause of that pain, then you can do something about it. You can make the changes that are needed to make the pain go away. And if you're looking at this video about the perfect time for quitting alcohol, then you have some pain associated with alcohol and alcohol is the bottom line. The lifestyle is the bottom line and alcohol plays a part of that. You know, once you get rid of the alcohol, the pain will start to diminish and go away. Once you're following onto something, your end goal again, right? So you have to ask yourself, what are you waiting for? You know, you might have tried lots of times to quit drinking in the past and every time you fail for one reason and that one reason is you put the stuff into your mouth right you give in to the temptation the temptation of the alcohol is stronger than the need for something better right you know that momentary temptation that momentary gratification that you need that you want to get in your life is stronger than what you want in the long term and I understand that I've done that loads of times in my life I mean it's my life has been about that up until a few years ago you know just leading one leading myself down one um, short little alleyway to find that instant hit after another and those alleyways are always dead ends they're never going to lead anywhere you have to always come back out again to the main road if you want to travel forward right so what happens if you went to the doctor tomorrow and the doctor said to you look you know this is it um, sorry to tell you but you've got uh, something wrong with your liver Right, we'll use that as an instance because that's the most common thing, I think. It's the most common thing that people seem to care about. I mean, there's over 200 conditions that can go wrong uh, from drinking alcohol, right? But let's say, for instance, that he says, yeah, your, your liver is sort of half screwed. And you say, well, is there anything I can do about it? He says, yeah, what are you doing in your life? What's your diet? And you say... Yeah, you tell him your diet and then you tell him about the alcohol. Yeah, see how much you're drinking and you tell him and he says, yeah, that's your problem. You've got to stop drinking. What's the consequences if you don't? You're going to have to, uh, your liver is going to get worse. Your fatty liver is going to turn into cirrhosis of the liver. And once you get cirrhosis, you're screwed, right? because we can't do anything for you and you won't get a liver transplant because you're not famous and you're not rich and you're not young and because you've done this to yourself what would you do then would you go home and go yeah i've got to commiserate with myself and have a drink and go down down a bottle of wine would you like You'd give up, you know, if you give a man, give a person 
a big enough reason why he will put up with almost any hell. If death is there at your door, sickness first, all horrible sickness, nasty shite sickness, and followed by a cruel death. And that is almost guaranteed. If you don't stop, then what you're gonna do, you're gonna stop. So what are you waiting for? Are you waiting for the doctor to tell you something like this? Because if you continue on with the drinking, that's the likelihood is something's gonna happen. You know, maybe it's not your doctor telling you that you've got cirrhosis. Maybe it's your partner saying, look, you're a tool. I don't like what you're doing to yourself and I don't like what you're doing to this family. So get stuffed, get off. I don't want you anymore. Are you waiting for your employer to say, you're a dickhead, you, you know, you've just, um, your job is not, you're not doing your job anymore, you, you're, uh, you're fired. You know, as I was saying to you earlier on, I, I'm not saying this because I want to be a dickhead myself, right? It's not about that. It's about you saying these things to yourself and being realistic with your own life, you know? It's easy to sit down and go, well, I don't want to think about these and I've got a really handy tool not to think about them. And that tool is to sit there and drink myself into a stupor, right? And then I don't have to think about any of my problems. But you have to realize that every drink that you take makes your situation worse. And every drink that you don't take makes your situation better. So it's a no brainer which route you should be taking, which road you should be traveling down. And you should always keep that in your mind when you're thinking about buying stuff, buying alcohol, when you're thinking about putting it into your mouth, just get real with yourself, you know. There's no, there's a quote, somebody says it's Socrates, but I'm not sure about that. And it seems a bit modern to me. And it says basically, the secret to change is to focus all of your energy on, not on fighting the old, but on building the new, right? So that's really what you have to do. Don't wait anymore. Don't wait until the perfect time. Don't wait until the doctor is knocking on your door telling you that you've got to go to the hospital. Don't wait until your wife or your husband is opening the door and saying adios. You know, don't wait until something bad happens. You know, until your kid turns around to you and says, Dad, why are you drunk all the time? Mom, why do you keep doing this to yourself? I had that recently, one of my nieces turned around at the dinner table. Uh, my sister is one of the only ones that smokes. She's the youngest one. Um, and she went out for a cigarette. And just as she walked out the door, I heard her say to her mum, Mummy, does, does Maria not care about living? Does she not care about her health? And she's only seven. She said that and I was like, oh my God. That's basically it, you know. We have to see for ourselves what a seven-year-old can see nowadays. I mean, the information is out there. It's all there at your fingertips. You, uh, there's no excuse. You know, I mean, at the end of the day, nobody else is being hurt by this except you. You know, you, you hurt other people, but they have a choice. You know, they, they have a choice to say, well, yeah, I'm not doing this anymore. I'm not sticking with this anymore. Some people have a choice. I mean, your kids might not. They still have to have you as mum and dad. But look, getting too deep into this one. This is, the whole point is, there is no perfect time to quit. The only perfect time is at this moment. It's the only time you've got to do anything. So look, if you have any comments at all, any questions, then leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear what you have to think about this. Um, Go on over to the website, sign up for the newsletter. The audio will be over there underneath the video. You can also have a look at the transcript if you want to uh, look at that. Um, and until then, have a great week. Have a safe week. Keep the alcohol out of your life. If you're going to make the decision to do it, do it now. Do it now. This is the only time that you've got. And don't wait until next week. Don't wait until New Year's Day. Do it now. Take the decision, take the action, 
and go after what you want in your life. If you do that, then, you know, you won't want to drink again. That's the whole point. I'm Kevin O'Hara for Alcohol Mastery. Onwards and upwards.